Hi, I'm in Hoth County, Dublin, and I've come to see a place that loads of people have made videos of, and I'm sure you've seen them, but this is my first time, and it's an ambition realised to come here. Marconi spark coil. It's like the internet today. That's the internet back then. Okay. With the Morse code key. It's getting this information out. Nelly dropped in to see Nelly with this plea to cover she goes. Don't go into the front room, Dad. Nancy's in there with the caller. Daddy dear, won't you stay out here? Rose has a friend in the park. Yeah. This is my favourite. It's Rita Hayward. She, if everyone would know her, she used to sing to the soldiers. But it's actually a Paris aerial. So when the Nazis were invading Paris and breaking all the communications, she wouldn't be destroyed. She'd be left sitting on top of the mantelpiece, undiscovered. The spice rack radio here. Uh, this was in the 60s. I don't think it's coming in too well. For men, to encourage men to cook in the kitchen. How would you stop? Yeah, it was a spice rack for men. What, what's your interest? How did you get interested? I love vintage, I think old and vintage, like myself, I suppose. <laughs> I, I like um, old things, okay. not to be destroyed, and to really? be shown to people, let people look, you know, and look at the things and touch them. See oh. what people had. What catches their eye? What what's the, what around here? Well, children. When children come in, they love the little um, Morrison Gromit radio. Shall we see what's on the wireless? And then the children would have uh, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> when older people then come in, uh, more you know, they love to just look at the decor of the radios because an architect as you can see would have designed these like a cathedral and they go back to their granny's day in the house and grandfather's mm. day of their radios just brings back the memories really these birds are beautiful uh, to look at and these are speaker covers and these would sit on top of the speakers in the lovely big grand houses you know speakers were ugly so you put birds on top to make them pretty so do you know what um Everything's very clean. I clean, I dust, yeah. Do you? I do some dusting. Because I just it. expected everything to be just... No. And I give it a dust every week and I yeah, brush the right. floor. Everything's and I... lovely and clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there are a few cobwebs around. I can't reach. But, uh, yeah, Yeah, great. I love it here, yeah. On your way down, you can see some nice photographs of Terry Walden. In here, then, we've got a little collection of men. The old teas make, make a cup of tea in the oh morning. God. That's wonderful. The old tape recorder, which I think I made a comeback. Telefax, you know, now you've got email. We don't have this anymore. In here, then, it's like a little collection of radios that we might remember ourselves in our grandparents' days, probably. This one, we we'll turn this one on when the green eye lights up. It, it, it heat, it's heating up and we'll hear some sounds. So that's where Munster, uh, that's where the, attra uh, the attacking threat lies in these perfect conditions. Uh, certainly Hanlon is going to have to find a formula to get those three as involved in the game as possible. And then when we get tourists in, we have Russian radios, German radios, something that they might remember themselves. Um, this is very nice. This is a ham radio. It was um, donated from a priest from Colester, and he used to listen into the Congo, and he'd tell the the, so the soldiers' families back at home how everybody was doing. Great. So that's good. Then you've got the old car radios, ah, very yeah. big and heavy. If somebody says to you, "What's the point of hanging on to old things?" Well, you can show the younger generation it. It's too nice to be destroyed. 
suppose a lot of young people, I know people like to get rid of things and that's decluttering and starting again. But to me it's sad, it's like going to a graveyard and, and, and the stuff is dead, it's gone. But not if you can show people how nice and beautiful it all looks when it's polished and no dust or cobwebs around and it's nice. Nice to look at, even better when they work. Children love this. People think it's a camera, they think it's a projector, but it's actually, it's a foghorn. Um, it makes a noise. I hope I can do it now. I normally get everybody to do it. 